Hey there, welcome to Tone Motion. Some of you may know I have a Patreon account, which makes it possible to keep on making videos on YouTube. As a thank you, I sometimes do giveaways there. After reaching my fourth goal, it was time to choose a new winner. This giveaway is going to be a little bit different than previous giveaways. Because I'm going to do my first ever commission. The winner will get his own Divas character. By answering the following questions. What kind of animal? Age? Gender? And what kind of personality? Patreon winner Mindy gave me the following answers. Her pet Senegal parrot Squeakers. Age 27, gender, girl, and personality, cute but small and fierce. Mindy mentioned her pet parrot Squeakers is kinda small, although she's fully grown. She also mentioned, and more as a side note, she really likes a pirate team. Oh, I never tried pirate stuff and it kinda looks fun. So let's make a parrot pirate doll. Oh, before I start, I'm also going to work on another Divas character in this video. That's right, Alex Fox is finally getting a new, much more poseable Obitsu body. His progress will pop up now and then in this video. If you saw the green bird whistle in the bag with fluff in my previous repaint video, then you found the hint. Good luck find the hint in this video. Hmm, which doll to use for this project? Well, let's look into my stock box. We got a lot of great candidates in here. But I'm going with these versions of Monster High Frankie Stein. I'll be using her head and this green body. I think a more green Venus body would have been a better option, but I don't have one, so Frankie it is. To take off the head of the grey Frankie body, I fill a mug with hot water. I dunk the doll in it and leave it to soak. This makes the final of the head soft and easy to remove from the neck back without breaking it. I really like this short haircut on her, so for once I'm going to leave it as is. But she's going to be a bird and birds don't really have visible ears. So I have to remove those human ears. To fill in the ear area, I'm going to give her a small reroute with grey hair. Wow, I really like this style. <laughs> to secure the hairs from the inside, I use a um, universal glue. When the glue is dry, I'm going to give her a boil wash to lay the hair stay down. Cut off the excess hair with scissors. Ugh, her hair came out somewhat greasy after the boil wash. A common problem with these types of dolls. A good solution is baby powder. It makes her hair super soft and takes away the stickiness. The green Frankie body was missing an arm, but I think I have a spare one in my hand box. Squeakers is a small bird and she has the age of 27. In the Divas universe, this means she's a full grown character with more animal features. To translate this into the doll, I first need to cut the doll's body into many pieces. Yeah, I'm not like most doll artists. Although I do use existing doll bases, I always want to make something different out of them. For our pokesable feet, I'm going to steal them from this AliExpress doll. Alex's new Obitsu body is also getting some modifications. I'm going to give him a small band in his legs. Something I didn't think about when I made him two years ago. 
but it would suit his age much better. Okay, Squeaker's doll body is all in pieces. Before we're going to reconstruct her, let's switch to her feathers. Senegal parrots have green, yellow and grey wings. I do have green and yellow feathers, but I don't have any grey feathers. I do have white feathers, so let's dye them with red dye more. Something I'm also going to try in this video is I dye Polly. I really want to try this brand and dye Alex's hands and feet. The dye comes in this bag that dissolves in water. Also, the description says you have to use this extra conditioner to dye polyester. Let's first start with the feathers and red dye more. Getting them into the pan was kinda tricky, but the dye works! And now for the eye dye poly. Well, it does dye pretty good. After dyeing the hands, they kinda came out sticky. I think it's because of the conditioner they recommended to add. Luckily, I was able to remove the stickiness with acetone. Okay, back to the feathers. To let them dry, I'm going to use my laundry dryer. But I recommend to roll them into kitchen paper first. I'm not sure if feathers will get stuck into the machinery. Okay, after the dryer we got a pack of fluffy grey feathers. To make the feathers usable for this custom, I cut off the tip of the feathers. Cut them into smaller parts and then trim them into even smaller feathers. I do on the gradient from dark to light grey on the wings. To make these, I found these crow feathers in my area. I washed them thoroughly and also cut them into teeny tiny feathers. But before you make her wings, let's reconstruct her body first. Although she's going to get wings, I want the clothes to be removable on this doll. Monster High dolls can remove their lower arms. I'm going to use this option and reconstruct them into removable wings. To reconstruct the rest of the body, I'm going to use a combination of super glue, tape and wire. Before I insert her new wings, made out of wire, I first make a hole in the lower back with a lino cutter. This is so I can give her a tail. To secure the wires, I glue them with a two-part epoxy glue. Ok, time for epoxy sculpt. I won't be needing much, only to smooth out the alternations on her body. And a tiny bit to make a beak. Just like my other bird costumes and every other Divas character, her underlip will stay human. And her nose and upper lip will make place for a beak. When the epoxy sculpt is all dry and hard, I use my Dremel to smooth down the transition from clay to plastic. Also, Alex's legs are going to get this treatment of epoxy and sanding. Her wings, that can be clicked off and on again, need some body. You can use a stretchy fabric but tape will also do the trick. To prevent any cracks around the epoxy sculpt, I use super glue with a special brush to go around her beak. Senegal parrots have amazing colors and to give this doll the same colors, I use Amsterdam acrylic paint. Most of the time you don't want any brush strokes, 
but on this costume it kind of looks like feathers. Speaking of feathers, let's make her wings. With a stroke of fabric glue, I lay the feathers one by one on the wing, beginning with long feathers at the tip and smaller feathers on the end of the wing. When a row is done, I glue another row above. When one side is done, I flip the wing. I start over, but in this case with different colors. To finish the wings, I use spare feather fluff and glue it on top. Back to her body. With pen pastels and a brush, I give her body a better transition between colors and also make her face a bit darker. Switching to Alex, he's also getting a black gradient on his arms and legs. He's also getting his heartbeat tattoo on his left foot, which was mentioned in a Divas Q&A video on Patreon. Okay, Squeaker's body is looking great. Let's give her a face up. A layer of Mr. Superclear and I can start sketching in her face with a watercolor pencil. She'll be getting a cute face with large eyes. When I'm happy with my sketch, I fill it in with acrylic paint. Mindy mentioned her pet parrot Squeakers has one yellow eye brighter than the other one. I'm also going to give this doll the same characteristics. Now that I'm darkening parts of our face and eyes, let's answer the question of the day. Question about the Divas Universe. Since how older you are determines how many animal features you have, are babies born with animal features? Or are they completely human? And if some live to be a hundred, would they be completely animal by then? And if they are born human, when do they start getting animal features? Okay, that's one long question. I did answer a bit of these questions before in other videos and on Instagram. But let's give a official statement. Babies in the Divas universe are born without any fur or feathers. They also have very small ears and no visible claws or teeth. So yeah, some of them you can see as human baby-like. They do grow some fur and feathers when they get older. But after puberty, about the age of 20, they develop long claws, digigrade legs, long teeth, a long snout or a beak. They are fully grown characters around the age of 26 to 28. So no, they won't become fully animals when they get older. Because normal animals also live in this universe. Do you have any questions for me? Leave it in the comment section. And maybe I will answer it in the next repaint video. Just like Senegal parrots, I'm going to give her white linings around her eyes. It's kinda too much at this point, but after a spray of Mr. Super Clear, we got the perfect balance. Okay, like I said in the beginning of the video, I'm going to make a pirate. Her outfit will be not historic accurate, but more inspired by movie pirates. I will be making her a blouse using the patterns I used for Olivia. I'm also going to give her a long leather jacket. Well, I had to switch between fabrics because this fake leather wasn't really usable in the end. So I made her a red jacket with gold lining. With another type of fake leather fabric, I made these simple boots.
Before I put on the boots, I made our legging from stretchy fabric. From spare epoxy sculpt, I made buttons I painted gold. I glued them on our outfit by using fabric glue. For some more accessories, I stole this belt from a spare Cassandra doll I own. I sew on a snap and put them on the doll. Like every pirate, she needs a bandana. And now I'm going to try something new. I'm going to make a pirate hat by using air drying foam. To protect the doll, I cover the hat with a sandwich bag. It's very weird stuff, it's very satisfying to knead. First, I make a flat round shape and lay it on the doll's head. Then I form the edges to make a pirate head. Let it fully dry for a day. In the end, I make two kinds of pirate hats. One is more of a traditional pirate captain hat. Yellow is a great color, but I think they look better with some brown paint. To make them look more like leather, I'm going to use the shoe shine technique on the hats and on the boots. Just like I did on Sunbird. A nice red feather and they are done. I really like this technique. So I made another cap for Henry to wear. Okay, let's turn back to Alex. The new Obitsu body can wear most Ken tops. But pants will be needing some alternations. I'm changing Alex's hairstyle a bit to make it look wilder and a bit older. His hands I keep in this box, so I can easily switch them out when I'm animating, like I do with the other characters. Squeakers has been signed on the back of her head. She's getting a last layer of shine in her eyes with a high gloss varnish and she's done. It was quite a challenge to make this giveaway commission doll. But I really enjoyed making her. She's so small and cute. But the whole pirate captain makes her fierce and tough. Pirate captain squeakers will be on our way to America. Together with some goodies and Dutch candy. 
but becoming a patron is the only way to win a commission from me. But, and this is very interesting information, if I reach 100k subscribers on YouTube, I'll plan in a giveaway doll for YouTube only. Which will be my second mascot character, Motto, the Raccoon Rabbit. So definitely keep an eye open in the future for that. I would like to thank my lovely patrons for their amazing support. And like always, like if you liked it and sub if you loved it. See you in the next video. Bye!